Hi, I'm Ranjit Bhatnagar. I'm a sound artist in Brooklyn, and this is the junk guitar class. We're standing here in the secret headquarters of NYC Resistor. NYC Resistor is a hacker space. People get together to share ideas. It's like a secret clubhouse for nerds, really. All right, these, these are the parts for the most primitive junk guitar. We have here a stick, one guitar string, some miscellaneous hardware. So I'm going to put on this bracket here. I'll make another hole on this end for the string to go through. So I just need to slide the string through the hole here. And the little nub on the end will keep it from going through. I've got my eye bolt here. And then later I can adjust the tightness of the screw to change the pitch of my string. And then to make an electric guitar, I make a pickup. The basic parts of the pickup here, I have a sewing machine bobbin, a little magnet that fits inside the bobbin, and I have skinny wire, magnet wire it's called. And what I do is I, I'm going to wind this wire about 200 times around the bobbin. Once I have filled up the bobbin with wire, I take it off the bobbin winder. So I take the magnet and stick it in the middle of my bobbin, just a little blob of hot glue on each side, keeps the magnet inside. And then when this magnet is next to a guitar string, the string vibrates and it makes the magnetic field wobble. And as the magnetic field wobbles, it makes a little tiny electrical current in the wire. And that current goes into the amplifier and it makes the sound you can hear. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'll solder this to a, a quarter inch jack. This is a standard jack that all guitar amplifiers use. All right, both terminals are soldered. The next step here is I need to attach my guitar pickup to the guitar I made earlier. You don't want to touch the string, but you want it to be within maybe a quarter inch to three-eighths of an inch. The last thing I'm going to do is just find a way to stick my jack to the side of the guitar. And now I can plug it in again. All right, seems to work. Again, this is the cheap and fast way to do it. You're never going to make a professional level guitar with hot glue, but it sure is easy. It works. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a great help.